On this video, we're going to take a look at saved results settings. So in the save results section that we're seeing in here, so we've gone to the search menu and to save results, you can see here we've got a settings button where you can go and view other consultant searches. So if we click on that, it shows you in here that save results, we're looking at mine at the moment, but I can go to another user's. You can then type in their name, select them and click on save. And then you'll be able to view their results from here. Now there's not a lot you can do with those results. You can go and view them. See, you can go and see them in there, but you can't make any amendments to that search. The other thing you can do in here, as you'll see in the activities, is that you can copy those back to yourself. So that is the main thing that you can do. So if you try and do any of these actions from here, see how you cannot run this workflow from another user's save search. So it has got that protection on it that you can't just go and play around with someone else's results, but you can copy the search back to yourself. Yeah, so I go back to me. And if I go back to settings, back to my own save search, as you can see, that's instantly come over at the top of my search. So that's how you can go and view another consultant's saved search results.